he did not have diplomatic relations with this woman. Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte on Wednesday swung back at former first daughter Chelsea Clinton's rebuke of his recent rape joke by invoking the sex scandal that tainted her father Bill Clinton's second term. I was not joking, I was being sarcastic, the Filipino strongman said in a speech. I will tell her, when your father, the President of the United States, was screwing Lewinsky, the girl there in White House, how did you feel? Did you slam your father? By inviting Duterte to the White House, Trump emboldens a killer Duterte, notorious for his vulgar and incendiary remarks, had sparked international outrage on Friday after quipping his soldiers could rape women without consequence under martial law. If you go down, I go down. But for this martial law and the consequences of martial law and the ramifications of martial law, I and I alone would be responsible, just do your job I will take care of the rest, he addressed soldiers on Mindanao Island, per a transcript cited by The Guardian. I'll imprison you myself, if you had raped three, I will admit it, that's on me. As human rights groups fumed, the Clinton daughter condemned the remark in a Twitter reply. Duterte is a murderous thug with no regard for human rights, she wrote. It's important to keep pointing that out and that rape is never a joke. The former Davos city mayor's supposed sarcasm marked at least the second time had made light of rape, he last year conjured the memory of an Australian missionary killed and raped in 1989, calling her beautiful and joking that his mayor, he should have been first in line. Duterte whose ruthless drug war has yielded more than 7,000 extrajudicial killings since he assumed the presidency last June won himself an invite to President Trump's White House last month, prompting a flurry of human rights-related complaints. He later suggested he might be too busy for a visit to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. A leaked transcript last week also shed light on Trump's increasingly chummy relationship with the self-professed killer with Trump calling Duterte in late April to congratulate him on the unbelievable job on the drug problem. I just wanted to call and tell you that, Trump said. Send a letter to the editor, 